All right, this is going to be Abomination, Desolation, Part 7. Turn to Luke 23. We're going to continue. Uh, Christ is going, getting ready to be crucified. Luke 23, verse 27. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold... The days are coming in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bear and the paps which never gave suck. And let me tell you something, people. In the tribulation period, the time of Jacob's trouble, it's going to be bad. I mean, really bad. The demon nominational church world is not preparing the people. They are, they are lies to them. Uh, most, almost all the Western world believes in this pre-trib rapture stuff. Oh, they're going to fly away. They're not going to see any trouble at all. You know, it's just, they have no idea that they're going to have to pay for their faith with their lives. A great number of them. And, you know... <laughs> It's going to be bad. People, people are, you know, if you got, if you, if you have a child and, and you can't buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast, look out. Verse 30, then shall they begin to say to the mountains, fall on us and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? And there are, were also two other malefactors led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, saying, he saved others. Let him save himself, if, if he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in the letters of Greek, Greek, and Latin, and Hebrew, this is the king of the Jews. And one of the malefactors which were ra hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. Ah, I bet you that's the one on the left. But the one on the right, how about this? Verse 40. But the answer, other answered, answering rebuked him, saying, Dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man hath done nothing amiss. In other words, this guy says, well, we, we're getting what we deserve. But, but this man's done nothing wrong. This guy knew that Christ had not done anything worthy of death. Verse 42. And he said unto Jesus, Lord. Ah, he acknowledges Jesus as Lord. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. I say that's the guy on the right hand. But that's just my opinion. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. How's that for a testimony? All right, in Matthew 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, same word as Gentiles. And he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. 
and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Boy, I hope he's got a lot of room on those, that left side because, oh, isn't it funny that those that hate God are always called the left, the left, the left, the left-wing media, leftists. Ah, uh, think about that. And, and the Church of Satan, what is their uh, symbol? The goat, right? The goat. Didn't the Stones do a uh, have an album called Goat's Head Soup? Oh, yeah. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and ye took me, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungered, or, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? Or uh, when saw we thee, a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when we saw thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me. Boy, that is some scary, those are the scariest words I think people will ever hear in their lives. Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungered, or thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison? and did not minister unto thee. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. How many of those millionaire preachers on TBN would even give you a dollar hamburger from like Sonic or something, if you were starving. Now, they're only worried about their $60 million Learjets and their mansions on the beach. That's what they worry about. I guess you could say there's going to be hell to pay. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. You know, Jesus warns us, we got to do the will of the Father, which is in heaven. Maybe we should spend some time trying to find out what it is, so we can do it. Verse 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Oh, yeah. The pre-trib rapture is a prophecy, people. Did you know that? Yeah. And and I cringe when I see that in a ministry or a preacher's statement of faith. Where does it say, believe on the pre-trib rapture and thou shalt be saved? Where is that in the Bible? I can't find it anywhere. You know, they make it, I've been booted out of churches because I I question that. I mean, where does it say you got to believe in the pre-trib rapture or you can't be a member of this church? And that's a prophecy, people. When they tell you absolutely positively that Jesus is going to come and whisk his church away prior to the time of Jacob's trouble, that is a prophecy. 
And they're going to say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in that name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. The scariest words to ever come that you'll ever hear with your ears that comes out of the mouth of Christ himself. All right. Um, let's go back to Luke 23. So, verse 43. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over all the earth unto until the sixth hour, ninth hour, ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having, thus, uh, and having said thus, he gave up the ghosts. Now when the centurion saw this was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly this was a righteous man. Certainly, this was a righteous man. And all the people that came together to that site, beholding the things which were done, smote their breasts and returned. Wow. All right, I think I'm going to close this out. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 27. I want to spend uh, at least five or ten minutes on this. And like I say, I'm on Minds, M I N D s.com and bitshoot b-i-t-c-h-u-t-e um, because I don't know how long I'm going to be on the tube and uh, I'm breaking these up into 15 minutes because mines will not let me load anything longer than 15 minutes so and uh, I'm not going to waste my time with bright eon anymore uh, those they're they're even they're, uh, they won't even let you load the video until they review it. I mean, oh, well, we don't do censorship, you know, but if you don't meet what we think you should be doing, uh, you, you can't load your video on our channel. So I'm totally abandoning Bright Eon, totally. And Tube's going to be gone. Uh, don't waste your time on MeWe. It's owned by an antichrist. So... All right, uh, when we return, I'm going to be on uh, Matthew chapter 27. That will probably close it out. So, all right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God, Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen.